Battle, nearly a dozen court documents were released to the public tonight. KRDO News Channel 13 is one of the petitioners that asked the state Supreme Court to unseal the records for you. KRDO News Channel 13's Emily Allen went through those records tonight and joins us now outside the Colorado Springs Planned Parenthood Clinic. James and Heather, these are all of the documents that we got today. Now, in here, it describes how uh, accused shooter Robert Deere shot some of his victims point blank and also tried to make this building explode. Before investigators say Robert Deere opened fire at this Planned Parenthood, he stopped several times for directions and even called Planned Parenthood for its address. According to these documents, Deer told three victims in the parking lot they shouldn't have showed up that day and then shot them. Investigators say Deer set up propane tanks outside and fired at them, hoping to make them explode. He also made himself a ballistic vest out of silver coins and duct tape. We have our suspect right now. He's saying that he is alone and he's fine. In interviews later, Deer called President Obama the Antichrist. Quoted Bible verses and told investigators he dreamed when he died he'd be greeted by unborn fetuses at the gates of heaven and they'd thank him for his work. He'd call himself a warrior for the babies in his first court appearance. Kill the babies, that's what Planned Parenthood does. Investigators searched his computer and email. He posted a little on Facebook, but frequently online about his views against abortion and the federal government. And I'm not going to uh, agree to their mental health evaluations. Robert Deere initially admitted to the crimes. He now claims he's innocent. So Deere went through that. mental health evaluations in Pueblo and had a court appearance on April 28th. We could hear what those results are. In Colorado Springs, Emily Allen Carrio, News Channel 13.